Greetings and welcome to an Autonauts tutorial. I'm Catherine of Sky and here we have our bots and what is more frustrating than bots that become slow and slow and discharge completely? Well, this tutorial is about how to get an effective recharge system going along. So we're going to start off with our Mark Zero bot, which is the bot we can begin the game with, and then we'll kind of transition onto a Mark One bot. So the first thing we want to do is catch their attention by pressing the space bar and then selecting the bot we want to teach, which is the Mark Zero right now. Now you'll notice we have 12 12 kilobytes free of memory. Uh, let's start off by pressing record. Now we're going to go and recharge this bot, sort of. We're gonna run up to it, initiate the charge command, and then run away really quickly. So let's do that. Click and run away. Okay, so what we've done is we haven't actually charged the bot, but we've initiated the instructions. So we have find nearest bot discharged in this area, move to the bot and recharge the bot. Then we have this move command, which was moving down here, which we can get rid of because that was our runaway thing uh, for our character. So we want to put a forever loop around this um, so that it will search in the area and then enable us to have a fail condition. Now the fail condition is very important. You'll see that on the bottom right, toggle exit repeat on fail. Uh, this is going to become kind of critical for how we want to actually run this entire program. So let's select that um, and then we'll do the next one. Okay, go ahead, run up again and go away again. Aha, take away the move command. And again, we'll add another loop and you can press control and select each command and then drag them all together. Now we're gonna make this again, a forever loop exactly like the first one. And again, a fail condition. So we have four kilobytes free and each of these takes four kilobytes, one, two, three, and four. We know we need a forever loop around the whole thing. So alas, we can only do two bot recharge zones. So let's go ahead and choose those research or choose those re recharge zones right now. Let's move this kind of over here, say, yep, there we go. And then we'll move this zone, oopsies, not that zone, this one, max the area and then put it down here. I like to have them adjacent to each other so that they cover the max amount of ground. So um, what happens if we don't have this uh, exit repeat on fail? Well, what happens if a bot doesn't find a bot in this zone that needs charging? it will never move on to the next instruction. Cause what this is saying is look at this area. If you don't find one, move to the next area. Uh, so if I go ahead and actually recharge this bot, this one here, and we know this is the very first zone. Okay, so this one's gonna start doing its silly thing of moving back and forth. Um, and we take this off, we don't let it fail. So if we press go, it's gonna keep looking and looking and looking and trying to find a bot that's discharged, so it cannot move to the next set of instructions. Uh, instead, if we put the fail, uh, the exit repeat on fail, put that there and say go, it's gonna look here, then it's gonna look there. And it's like, hey, wait a second, there's a bot over there I can help. Yay, let's go and fix them. <laughs> so there we go. We can have this one working on that one. So that is gonna be how, uh, how that works. So the Mark Zero bot can recharge two zones, right? Uh, because it has 12 kilobytes free. Now the Mark One bot, if we look at this one, has 16 kilobytes free, but again, it's four per instruction plus the one uh, uh, forever loop around it. So this one can recharge three zones in its regular state as a bot. However, you can upgrade these bots with different things. You can get uh, memory upgrades. So let's call this bot to us. Hello, come on over. You can get them to come over just pressing the record button, okay? and we're gonna stop it. So what this does is if we give it a crude bot upgrade, which you can do two ways, walk up to it so you can do the bot trade, just click that and you can do this. Uh, or if you want to, let's uh, do the trade again. Oopsies, no, give it here, sorry. Trade again. You can do an automatic trade by control right click. Okay, and you can see the bot is like, okay, I am bigger and stronger now, hooray. So click this and we now have seven kilobytes free. So what we can do is teach it again and say, aha, go over here, get this bot and then run away, run away. So 
take this off again do the same thing uh, put all of these commands inside the loop repeat until forever with the fail condition and then put that in the big forever loop so now you've expanded your mark zero bot uh, to have three zones instead of just two and I feel like that's a really good uh, thing to have three zones is great three zones is a lot so that's a big area uh, so we're gonna stop this for now and uh, the same goes for the mark one bot so this mark one bot though uh, has it has two different upgrade slots so what we can do with this one is we can give it the brain upgrade here you go control right click and then we're also going to give it a sensor upgrade now these bots already have a bigger area of effect but we can teach it to 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 cover an enormous area with these two upgrades and have four zones as well so what we're going to do with that is we're going to get the crude data storage disk now keep in mind if you don't have the upgrades yet keep on working that tech and get those upgrades within the uh, autonautopedia and the research thing imaging and um and you'll get these things the crude data storage disk allows us to transfer a program from one bot to the other. So if we look at this one, this has no programming at all, the Mark 1. But now if we go to this one, uh, we see obviously we have this program that we worked so carefully on. What we're going to do is pick up the data disk and go control left click on this bot. And you see there's like it uploads it to the disk. Now, if we scan over the disk or mouse over crude data storage mark zero, that is the program that we have here. Um, so let's go ahead and control right click on the new bot and it shows that it downloads it into the bot right there. If we click on this one, ta-da, we have the stuff. And now we have this program and we can make another uh, we can actually get another bot on the program. So let's go and click this one again and run away, run away. And again, click, remove the move to and get all of these thingy majingies in here. Okay, repeat forever. Do the box. Yay. All right, and let's choose this area. Okay, let's go max area right there. Oh, look at how big this is. It's enormous. <laughs> It's crazy big. So that's with the upgraded bot as well as the hourglass. So that's pretty darn big. And of course, these are also that big. So when you upgrade your bots, you can have massive research recharge areas. Now, keep in mind that charge bots also run out of charge. So it's wise to have at least two charge bots in a zone. Okay, there we go. Look at this area that one Mark One bot with upgrades can service. Is this not massive or what? This is my 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 factory. They can almost cover the entire thing. This is absolutely crazy. So make sure you give uh, make use of your data disk. Make sure you use make use of those upgrades because they are really really handy. Now there's another thing that you can do with charge bots, and that is create a sign. Uh, and this sign can define an area say let's go over here and what it'll do is if you use this area to um, define I don't know an area of, uh, of, of mining or of tree cutting or whatever you can press Z and you choose your area so we'll do, we're gonna do max area say say we're gonna just pick some berries off of bushes or, or beat the bushes or something like this say okay we're gonna link this area and we're gonna go to berry collection okay what you can do is assign a charge bot or any other bot to this area oh oh see by linking the area it actually moves it around we're gonna put that down right there and if we wanted to we could say hey bot how you doing now remember, this is the Mark Zero bot. And what we want to do is we're just going to take off uh, all the loops except for one of them. And this bot has kind of a small size area over here. Uh, but this one is, is quite a bit bigger, as you see. Now if we go to this thing, click the, uh, the area, and say Select Structure. We're going to click this. And it'll do the entire area despite not having the capabilities now signs are an upgrade uh or i think they're through um 
through making tasks happen. Yes, I don't think there's direct research, but I could be mistaken. Anyway, um, this will service this entire area and you can move this area around as you like. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this bot tutorial on how to charge all your bots. And uh, let's get this guy going and hopefully, oopsies, put you down and get them going on charging all the bots in all the places. Remember to have two bots per charge zone to keep everybody charged up nice. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.